my name is Henry with HWR Robotics, and today, about well, a week ago, I got back my HP AlphaCat 60, which had broken after half an hour of use, and so it blew up four MOSFETs, or whatever, four or five, and so I sent it back to HP, and six weeks later, I got it back. So, anyway, we are going to uh, test it out, see how well it runs, and hopefully it will continue to run. So I have the HP Alpha Take 200X, and that's been running like a dream since I got it. Um, but this one was a little defective, so hopefully they fix that and we can uh, cut some stuff up. Here we go. So out of the box we have the TIG torch and the multi-voltage plug adapter. We have an interesting uh, torch, I guess, plasma cutter torch, whatever it is. Anyway, so I think it's 15 feet. 18 feet, something like that. So it has like this heat shrink over it for the sheet. And then, yeah, however long all of this is. Next we have multi voltage plug for your consumables. The uh, power cord and then the ground clamp, and it's that femate, 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 uh, J10-25, so it's just equivalent to like a dense 25 connector, and under all that, we have a piece, piece of foam, uh, we have the top of it, and voila. HP Alpha Kit 60 back from the repair center. Let's set this guy down over here. Bag over there. 230 volt plug, but you can take the multi voltage adapter. And it's 220 to so 110. And they slide together. It's a female 220, male 220, a NEMA 50P, I believe. 50R for the receptacle, 50P for the plug. Those stick together. Now you have 110, which works best on a, 50, or a 15 amp circuit. So then, once you get that connected, let's see here, to put on the gas fitting. But before you do that, they've actually, on the HP Alpha TIG 200X, the uh, little power switch is in the the back instead of the front. Here it's on the front, so you don't have to reach around the whole machine to turn it on. Um, you have your amperage adapter, not adapter, but gauge here, so 20 amps, 30 amps, 40, 50, and 60, pressure gauge, uh, regulator, and post flow. Try to keep that at right about like one second. Your on, or your on switch and your problem light. Okie doke, so unfortunately, this little uh, plasma cutter does not come with a built-in or an included air compressor plug, but I guess that lets you put on whatever plug you want, or hardwired in, or whatever. So anyway, we're going to put on our standard little air compressor fitting, a little bit of Teflon tape, add some air. Seems to be leaking. So now we can spin this guy around. And get a torch and all the goodies out this way. And then I'm it. Let's connect to our 220 volt outlet. Got my gloves on, got my, my respirator, respirator, and my uh, 
helmet over here, set to grind mode. So I say, I'm going to fire this thing up and cut through some metal over here. So this is some stick welded steel. Here we go. Field trip. There we go. The first cut with the new HP Alpha Cut 60. Like me right there, you just do it over there. 